Hi, I'm Mike with America's Generators. Today, we're going to talk a bit about undervoltage shutdowns and a bit about how we can prevent it and a few of the causes. Before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe below. So let's get started. A generator undervoltage shutdown can happen for several different reasons. It's usually ref reflecting an issue with the generator's ability to maintain output voltage. What does that mean in the case of an undervoltage? It simply means that the voltage has fallen below a threshold set point that's considered safe for equipment and the generator itself. Let's go through a couple of causes for this. Okay, a low fuel supply. What does that mean? Insufficient fuel for combustion can lead to, you know, decreased power for your engine, in turn causing an undervoltage alarm or shutdown. A faulty AVR or automatic voltage regulator. The AVR is responsible for maintaining stable output voltage. If it does malfunction, it could possibly lead to an undervoltage shutdown with its inability to keep rated voltage. An overload. If a load is connected to the generator and it exceeds the capacity of the system, this can lead to an undervoltage situation and ultimately a shutdown to protect the generator and your equipment itself. Next, I'd like to talk about engine performance issues and poor maintenance. I mentioned them both because they go hand in hand. Engine performance issues, replacing key components that are worn out, affecting timing and compression and poor maintenance, lack of regular maintenance will ultimately impair your generator's ability to maintain rated voltage and output. So let's keep both of those going well. Environmental conditions, extreme temperatures and corrosive atmospheres can severely hamper your generator's ability to perform. Both can lead to under voltage shutdowns in the right conditions. Next we have electrical connectors and wiring. Loose or corroded electrical connectors, along with faulty wiring, can seriously hamper voltage regulation and eventually lead to an undervoltage shutdown. Lastly, we have excitation failure. Insufficient excitation in the generator's rotor can lead to a low voltage situation. If you do need your excitation system checked, I would recommend having a professional do so. Okay, so addressing these issues usually will involve some troubleshooting and maintenance most of which should be left up to professionals. If you feel confident or if you need to have some questions answered, feel free to contact us here at America's Generators. Remember to like and subscribe below. And if there are anything that you need to fill in the blanks, the details, please click on the article link below. I'm Mike. Thanks again for watching. And remember, stay powered.